Good evening. Welcome to a late broadcast. I said it was going to be late today. I didn't plan on being this late, but it was a very full day. Um, welcome to episode number 657. The topic today is, ladies, do you still believe that you cannot have career and relationship at the same time? Or something like that. Anyway, I'll get into that in a moment. Before I do that, let me introduce myself. I might fill in on today. We'll see. I'm exhausted after a long day, but we'll see what happens. So before I start, let me introduce myself. Again, as I said, my name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't figured that out already. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction. No, I missed a word. Let me say that again. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker. That's the plan. And best-selling and, and in relationship attraction expert, <laughs> helping women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine which also led to me doing these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. Well, it's abbreviated to MFTM just for convenience. And today we're episode number 657. Ladies, do you still believe you can, know, can cannot, ha cannot have career and relationship at the same time? Something like that. So let me dive in and just get this done quick, somewhat reasonably quick because I'm f finding myself fading even now because it is 11 p.m. Pacific time when I'm doing this. Usually it's 5 p.m. Pacific time. And by the way, this is a Facebook Live first. It goes onto YouTube later on, late tonight. And usually I go live at 5 p.m. Pacific time if I'm not already doing something else. And today I was doing something else. And I'll get to that in a minute, maybe. So the topic today is inspired by a conversation with a client earlier today because she had a, a, an epiphany to a degree. And an understanding is that she had had this belief running subconsciously as a silent soundtrack because she didn't figure it out until today. That she'd be running this belief somehow that she could only have a relationship or she could have business, but not both. And she'd been dedicated to her career and she had not really realized she could actually have a relationship at the same time as her career. And so this topic opened up the thought and in, in a conversation with us, with me and my client, about how things could be different. And also realizing she was saying this, that she was really representative of a lot of people, a lot of women carry this belief to get around that career and relationship cannot go together for a woman in her life. And part of that is, I believe, perhaps tied to the masculine mindset. And I talked to her a couple of days ago about the fact that women were forced, in quotes, to copy the men to be in business because the business world was decided by men. Sorry, the, the business world was created by men for men and women had to try and fit into that framework for a long time. And because men are generally single focused, at least the masculine is laser single focus. The strength of the masculine is that laser focus which means one thing at a time. I think women to a somewhat degree have subconsciously thought that we have to copy that modality and have one thing at a time as well. So relationship or business, but not both at the same time. Here's the thing. One of the powers of the feminine is the ability to, in simple terms, multitask, meaning the ability to have more than one thing happening at once. And one of the great gifts of that is you could absolutely easily and authentically have relationship and business at the same time. Okay, that's clear, I'm gonna sign off. No, there's more to it than that. For me, what I'm really come clear about in this experience is how many women have been, <laughs> I was gonna say hoodwinked, have been programmed, taught, told, instructed, falsely accused that they cannot have both. And maybe you've been through that experience where people will say to you, maybe you know the women will say to you that, well, you gotta pick one or the other, you can't have both. That's not true. You can have both. You don't have to choose one or the other. And Alicia, thanks for jumping in. I'm glad, glad you agreed. It's so true. It's absolutely true. And this is the thing that I feel is so um, misrepresentative, maybe the word, for all women that have been told this and believe this and fell for this, I won't say bullshit, but this falsehood. There is such a discrepancy of misunderstanding that women have been told things because one, because men think they're in charge, which is a lie as well, by the way, just add that one right now, but also because the culture is set up in such a way that the way men do it is the way that everybody has to do it. It's the way men have been doing it. So ladies, you've got to copy the same thing to be in business, which means that you give up everything else. Now it's interesting because men do have business and relationship at the same time, which is an interesting thought because if they can do it, why can't women? 
what I believe it's really true is for men is that men are, because of being linear and being one thing at a time, have to do things sequentially versus simultaneously. And there's a difference in ways to put it simply. Men do things sequentially, linear, one at a time. Women do things simultaneously, multitasking, more than one thing at once. That Those two things are extremely different. But again, because women have been trying to, have been for many years, fitting into the business world created by men for men, they've conformed to be like men and acted like men, which means that they could not do things in a lot of ways, nat well, sorry, not naturally, but by the programming, that they had to do things in a systematically sequential version versus a simultaneous and graceful and easy way, which they naturally can do. So some women have given up the chance to have families because of career. And I, I can't fix that. I just want to speak to that for a moment, just to recognize that some women have chosen to give up having a relationship, having a family or having parent, having children, even let alone a relationship, because they felt they could only do one or the other and they were dedicated to their career, or they felt they had to do the career to survive, to thrive, to succeed. This, I guess, more than anything else, is a stand for women to say, ladies, not only can you have career and, rela and relationship or career and family, but I believe it's your right to choose as you wish to do either or both as you want to because you have the right, pure and simple. And it's not my job to say you have the right, it's more about reminding you of what's already true. And so this um, brief reminder is simply adding to the conversation for those people, those people, because people, men and women think about this, who maybe didn't know about this or weren't aware of this or weren't ready to hear this. This is a wake up call. And my client this morning, I'm grateful to, to say, really got this home, got this in, in, in her body, so she really owned this space and really got clear for herself that she could in fact have both happily so, and she is at a point in her life where that actually works fine. She won't be missing out on anything. So this is my um, tribute to her, my gratitude to her, and my reminder to you. So if you're watching this live, thanks for being with me. If you're watching it later on, feel free to add comments and questions and thoughts. So my question to you, which I'll leave you with, because I'm going to keep this short again, because it is a late night broadcast. I want to keep this fairly consist concise. Is, have you been carrying this belief for yourself that you can only have one or the other? career or family slash relationship and if so did that affect your life and has it still affected your life or have you shifted your beliefs and understand truly that you do in fact and not only can but should make the choice no not should wrong word not only can you but if you do decide to absolutely willingly have both of those at once so I invite your, your response to that question in the comments if you're watching it on Facebook you can do it here if you're watching it on YouTube you can do it there um, I'll give you the links of where you can find these and also the fact that I'm normally live, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just, my throat's just dry. Lovely sound effects. Um, you can catch me normally at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which will definitely be, most definitely, will likely be that time tomorrow, so join me then again live. Um, replays, just so you can find me again, is Facebook Live go, happens on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And then the replays also go onto my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. You can watch these broadcasts in replay. And again, if you have questions or thoughts or responses to my suggestion, my question here, I invite you to put them in the comments below, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session because that's my usual thing. If you have a question, a thought, you want to go deeper in this conversation, you can sign up for a discovery session with me. This is, for some women, a pivotal question. So hopefully this has been of, a, of insight and of awareness to you. Um, and that's about it. I'm done for the day. I'm exhausted. It's been a very long day. Um, I was at a networking uh, mastermind event today. All, it was an afternoon event, then a veterans thing in the evening. It was a very powerful event, and I got to meet some really cool people. Some people I knew online and met in person for the first time, so that was really fun. So that's a little, very brief coverage of what I did today. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, join me again again tomorrow live at 5 p.m. Pacific time. 
or the replay on my business page or on YouTube. You got the links for that. And again, there'll be a link in the comments if you wish to sign up for a discovery session. It should be below, I think, depending where you're watching this. Um, if you're a woman who's getting stuck in this area and wants some help in the area of a relationship. And uh, that is your lot. Join me again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, same channel. And uh, take care of yourself and have a good night. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.